What is up, Legionnaires? Episode 6, the comic vlog. We've got Monkey's Birthday Party, me and the wife go collectible hunting, as well as reviews, all kinds of fun stuff. Check it out. Sports card trading show is back. I always find other stuff other than sports card. I found some cool comic box cards here, some comics. ABX is always here. Just went on my lunch break from work, figured I'd pop in. It's at Pineview Baptist Church in Augusta, Georgia. They seem to have these every every few months. I think they do them like two or three times a year at least at a park back in the North 40s. Because there's a legitimate, legitimate crowd here today. And they always set it up in the gym. It's free entry. I believe it's free to even table. Like, I wouldn't quote me on that. But it's a super, super awesome event that the church here does. Super awesome. This happens to be the church that uh, we're a member at. So it works out perfect. So I wasn't able to stay at the show very long. I was on my work break, but I did pop in, do a little walk around. I got to see my old manager, Clay, back when I worked at ABX in high school. I also saw Paul. He was set up there. Of course, they bring some really cool comics and uh, card games and stuff. Uh, my buddy Steve was set up as well. He's always set up at local cons. I always make sure to go check him out. Then I did pick up a couple of things from Steve. I got this amazing little uh, hologram Marvel. What is this? 95 Fleer Ultra Gambit. I absolutely love Gambit. He's my favorite X-Men. But a uh, pretty, pretty dope card. And then I found this patch that Steve had as well. It's an Incredible Hulk cloth patch from like back in the day. Like it's super duper cool. Like look at that. Really cool. It's an iron on, but I'm not going to iron it on. I'm just going to keep it in the collection. It was pretty dope. Pretty dope. Good morning, Legionnaires. It's Tuesday and I... Spent a good part of my evening talking to my buddy Alan, the comic Viking, and he expressed his interest in the Daniel Warren Johnson signing at CGC and that he was wanting to get some specific books that he's really into for that signing. And he knows that I have multiples of those specific books, so I'm getting ready to go take the kids to school and go buy Augusta Book Exchange, pick up my new DC books, and I figured because I love Alan, I would... I would definitely uh, work something out. The books in question that he was wanting to get is the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive for uh, Void Rivals. You know, this is a series that started it all at Skybound for Daniel Warren Johnson for Transformers, the Energon universe. Fantastic cover featuring Jetfire. And then he also wanted to get the Transformers number one which this came out before the series started, so a lot of people were hype on this one. These aren't cheap books, but uh, I love Alan, so I'm going to give him, we've already decided on a fair price, one that, that he's happy with, and uh, we'll go we'll go with those, and hopefully brighten up his day so he can send those off to the signing. I plan on taking my set along with my uh, uh, Void Rivals 1 in 100. Right there taking those to uh heroes con this summer every year i go to heroes con i always go see daniel warren johnson his booth has started to explode get busy as i'll get out so i want to take uh at least one of those and get signed by him so i'm skipping the cgc in-house signing i'd be curious there's a lot of cgc in-house signings that have been announced over the past couple of days uh for transformers fan beat up fan or Danny Warren Johnson fans as well as Wolverine fans so are you sending anything in have you ever sent stuff into an in-house signing uh, leave me some thoughts down below let me know we're here we have made it to ABX comics and games Augusta's original comic and gaming store right here in Augusta Georgia be sure to stop by if you're ever in the area let's see what we got today On the wall, we got the Joker Year One, the finale. Some really cool variants for that. World's Finest is here. New Nightwing Titan is checking in after the Beast World event. Some amazing Justice League, Godzilla, Kong stuff. Some really cool stuff. Look at that foily reprint for the first appearance of Jon Stewart. Definitely giving one of those away. Let's see what else we got. Going with that. Going with that. Going with that. There's that. This was really fantastic. World's Finest. And that, yeah, solid week, solid week. Here we go, picked them out. First off, the Godzilla King Kong Justice League variants are dope. 
But the giveaway today will be the foil reprint, the David Nakayama Catwoman, and this beautiful Raza cover. I mean, look at that. That is insane. Every Tuesday, I go live at 2 p.m. on my channel to preview and hang out and talk new DC books. I always run a giveaway and throw in all kinds of extra stuff with them. Be sure to check it out. Got a few reasons before I hit the car line. The Godzilla Kong Justice League was fantastic. We are bringing in all kinds of cool stuff. What a great, great series. They're touching on so much with the MonsterVerse, so much with DC. It's definitely not a throwaway feeling event at all. There's time, love, and consideration put into this. Uh, this is the best book on shelves right now. This blew me away with the powerful storytelling. Uh, War Journal was great. Where uh, I thought that issue six would really get past this current story arc with the Revenant Queen and everything, but it looks like we're going deeper into it. I'm ready to get past it, but at the same time, I'm, I'm completely captivated by what we're doing. And some of the best use of construct and construct building is done by Jon Stewart. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. The whole architect mind and the technical aspect of him and the way he uses his construct is on full display in this. Philip Kennedy Johnson is sending it. Uh, Nightwing, we're, or Titans, I'm sorry, or the follow-up to Beast World, kind of see where everyone is. I'm I'm really, it's not bad, but I'm really just not digging it. With so much great stuff on shelves right now, that one's really falling by the wayside. It's cool to check in and see what's going on with these characters post-Beast World, but really, like, I, I, I don't care about this Raven, Trigon thing. Maybe we're leading back toward that story from Future State a couple years ago in that potential future, but I, I don't know how much I'm really going to care. If good titles keep coming out, I'm going to end up having to drop Titans. It's just, it ain't doing it for me. I'm in complete awe with how good this Return to Kingdom Come story was. We got Dark Side on Earth-22 for the first time. It was more menacing than I've seen Dark Side in a long time. The story was heartfelt. They actually actually touched back on the original Kingdom Come story with a beautiful ending to it. I cannot suggest this enough. Make sure you don't miss it. It's phenomenal. Solid stack right here. See, I can't cover this address. Boom. Oh, y'all know that symbol. Y'all know that symbol. Second package. Hot from Canada, guys. This one went international from you know who, Sir Timothy Nerdy. Scored a bunch of stuff off his stream. It's the day before Monkey's party. Me and Kyle are going to see Angel at Dead Media to pick up something I'm very excited about. A very unique item. Don't see it uh, happening often. I, this will be my first time in my life actually coming across it. Successful trip. We found some good stuff. Awesome store as always. We found Finn something. I don't know if you can see it. See so tilted. It's a Nintendo DS game. We have him one ordered that uh, isn't showing up on time. So Kyle found this King Kong, Peter Jackson's King Kong game for DS. So we grabbed that. The official game of the movie. The official game of the movie. And then if you follow the channel, you know that I do the Legion Loop monthly appreciation prize for the channel members and i've been building and curating a very specific one for this month with all the no fomo content that goes around i figured i would build specifically a massive fomo book giveaway so i found some cool stuff to add to that i got uh, of course we picked up x-men adventures one since x-men 97 was announced to be uh coming from disney there's a comic from the original series and what else do we got in there 
Picked up another copy of Spawn 1 since we just passed that landmark 350 issue and you can never go wrong with Spawn. And for the ultimate spec book, ultimate spec book, we got another copy of Super Pro number 1. So that's always a fun one. Never can go wrong with that. So those will be added in there. But what we went out to get, like I mentioned earlier, uh, an absolute rare piece to find. The original uncut version of the original 1933 King Kong. But what's special about this, that's not a VHS. That is a Betamax. Like back in the day. So little. It's, it's little. <laughs> but yeah, a little Betamax original King Kong. I have no way of playing this and watching it whatsoever. I mean, I have the movie, numerous different versions, but I did not have a Betamax copy, nor have I ever seen one. So when I saw that, I'm like, look at that box art on it. Just show the picture on the back. Yeah, him fighting the pterodactyl. <laughs> super awesome. Super duper awesome. Had to get that. So super successful get. We're here getting monks from school. Birthday party tomorrow is going to be a great weekend. You excited for your birthday? Uh-huh. You ready for the bouncy house? Uh-huh. You ready to party? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's going to do it for this week. I appreciate everybody watching. Be sure to leave me a comment. Give me some feedback, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys next week.